we can. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, so good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm delighted to be here today. Um, my name is Louise Clifford and I'm studying digital media design in the University of Limerick. I'm completing my final year project under the supervision of Cristiano Storni. The title of my project is Applying a Human-Centred Design Approach to Alleviate Strain on Irish Healthcare Services by Introducing a Digital Age. Now that's quite the mouthful, I know, and because the definition of healthcare services is quite broad, for my project I paid particular attention to pharmacy environments and investigated what role the pharmacist takes in our medical needs. Human-centred design is a creative problem-solving approach that includes people in every step of the design process and ends with solutions that are tailor-made to this, the user's needs. Throughout my presentation, I'm going to speak about the quantitative and qualitative methods I used to complete my research. To begin my investigation, I found relevant publications that helped identify themes regarding the status of Irish, the Irish healthcare system, the most notable theme highlighting Ireland's inconsistent move towards digital healthcare services. A cross-national analysis of e-health across the EU shows that Ireland is being left behind. Electronic health records, I'm going to mention this a lot down throughout the, the presentation and I'm going to shorten it to EHRs, are a system currently missing from Irish healthcare services. These are digital records of individuals' um, healthcare information. The adoption of EHRs has the potential to allow us to gain new insights from the large amount of data that would be collected. Insights that could potentially predict national health crises. Once I had a solid research base, I started preparation for user interviews. I needed, to inter I needed my interview questions to be well structured and purposeful that would enable me to uncover the needs of both the pharmacist and the customer. Due to COVID-19, face-to-face interviews weren't really possible. However, the level of engagement between myself and participants through online calls remained high, and I feel I collected quality data. I then took some time to reflect on the important pieces of information and concerns raised by both pharmacists and customers, which I documented in an affinity diagram. On reviewing the gathered inf information, I was able to identify recurring themes and patterns um, and actionable in insights, which I feel informed my later design decisions. Uh, so just some of my findings. Firstly, when a pharmacist is carrying out their dispensing duties, there is a list of medicines that have particular reactions together. I found there is no system in place that flags dangerous medicines to the pharmacists. All pharmacists I spoke with stated that this information was some, simply something just, they just learned by heart. Now, I don't doubt the level of care and attention pharmacists give when dispensing medicine, but there is potential for dispensing errors or near misses, especially as the pharmacist relies on the customer to be truthful and coherent enough to inform them of the medication they're currently taking. And I feel that this supports the need for an EHR system, especially as there's a fine line between safe dispensing and incorrect action. Uh, consequences. So next, moving on to e-prescriptions. E in an attempt to ease pressure on healthcare services due to COVID-19, government bodies passed a new regulation allowing for electronic transfer of prescriptions from GPs to pharmacists. Every pharmacist I spoke to said that this new e-prescription from the pharmacy easier and more, more efficient. However, customers did mention that because there's no physical uh, prescriptions anymore. They don't know when their repeat prescriptions are concluding and sometimes they're being left without medication that they need. Again, I feel uh, that this supports the needs for an EHR system or some sort of pres prescription management application. So moving then on to the flu vaccine. Today, pharmacists play uh, an important role in the national Im immunization program, providing vaccines against diseases like the flu. Without an EHR system in place, it is nearly impossible to tell the number of vaccines being administered in pharmacies, which could leave room for error uh, where a customer could re receive a vaccine from more than one healthcare provider. Pharmacists shared with me uh, during my interviews the struggles they encountered during this year's flu season. One pharmacy saw a massive rise in the number of people requesting the flu vaccine, requests beginning back in July. There was no real system in place for customers to book a, va a vaccine in the pharmacy, the majority of them taking customers' details on paper and individually contacting them to schedule appointments. If something was to go wrong with a vaccine batch, 
Uh, I can only imagine how tedious a job it would be trying to get in contact with all these customers who are administered this batch. Not only would a digital system assist the pharmacist, but customers uh, would be able to have a, a record then of their vaccine history. So next then I created some user personas. Uh, these are fictional characters representing the different users I am catering for. Reading personas helped me understand my users' needs, experiences, behaviors, and goals. I was able to recognize that different people have uh, different needs and expectations when it comes to using pharmacies. An example persona I have here is of Kira. She's a local pharmacy owner dedicated to her patient's health and also managing her business. When a new customer comes into the store, Kira has to create a new record for them. She can't see this, this uh, customer's previous medicine history and has to trust the information the patient is providing as she's dispensing their prescription. This is frustrating for Kira as it creates a lot of unnecessary administration work. Next, I ran a, a online co-design workshop with real users aimed at exploring the design opportunities. I designed suitable activities to complete online that would generate rough design concepts. These activities included affinity mapping where participants grouped information and we discussed the emerging themes. We then plotted these themes on a prior, priority matrix and then created scenarios which generated empathy uh, in the participants. At the moment, I'm currently in the design phase of my project where I've been exploring design concepts for a mobile application. I started by sketching ideas and opportunities that rose from my workshop. I did this on paper and then created mock-up screens using a tool called Figma. You can see some of them here. Some of the features of the application include a universal patient profile, prescription management, prescription requests, uh, pharmacy booking services, and vaccine documentation. Once I'm happy with my design, I'm going to invite some participants to come and test the application. They'll be asked to complete a series of tasks. This testing can be done online and will identify usability issues and collect um, user insights. So then just in conclusion, uh, the pandemic has definitely accelerated social and economic change across the world that otherwise may have taken years to implement. I'm both passionate about digital accessibility and extremely grateful to all the healthcare workers who put themselves at risk every day. I see my final year project as a way of kind of combining the skills that I've learned over the course of my degree and also a way of just kind of giving back to the healthcare industry. Thank you very much for listening. Um, these are just some references.